Aegis Fox here, coming to you live from the Space Exploration Laboratory. I'm looking forward to our journey through space together. Hmm, looks like my scans came back pretty normal, you guys, which is good. Turns out microgravity in space really affects our body in multiple ways, and you get to test those out with two different experiments. First is bone density. Turns out in space, our bone cells don't want to make more of themselves as much as they do here on Earth. So when astronauts get back to Earth, their bones can be a little bit brittle, and so they have to take it easy for uh, quite a few months, actually, until they get back to normal. Try it out with this experiment. It's easy to mimic bones with corn puff cereal. Create three different densities by counting the total number of puffs you can put into one whole bag. From there, you can figure out what 75% of that total would be and 50% of that total would be. For example, if I could fit 100 puffs into my first bag, I could only fit 75 in the second and 50 in the third. Drop a heavy book from the same height onto each of the three bags. Count how many whole puffs of cereal you have left in each bag. Then subtract this number from the total that you started with. This difference is the number of cells that survived the trauma, aka bookfall. You then take this amount of whole bone cells, aka the difference, and divide it by the total amount of bone cells that you started with. Then multiply it by 100 to get the percentage of bone cells left. You should see a big difference between each of the three bags. So here on Earth, gravity is constantly pulling down on your body, which constantly pulls on all the fluids inside your body. So what happens in space when there's not that type of pull? The fluid gets to move wherever it wants to. Turns out astronauts get kind of puffy faces and too much fluid in the eyes and a couple other changes in their body. Try it out with this lab. First, place three pieces of tape on the leg, one at the ankle, one at the calf, and one just above the knee. Next, using a tape measure, measure the circumference or all the way around the leg at each of those spots. Lie on your back in a comfortable way for 10 minutes with your legs straight up in the air. After those 10 minutes have passed, measure the circumference in all three leg positions again. And compare to what the results were before. Mission accomplished, H-teamers. Make sure you share all of your wonderful experiments on our social media. Hey, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.